Hey guys, just a quick preamble before we get into the video. Today I'm gonna show you a new Lee Punch Parry tech I discovered, and when I say discovered, I mean I haven't thought of it until I figured it out recently. But considering how simple it is, I kinda doubt that nobody's ever done this before, but at the same time, I've never seen anybody else do it. And second, yes, this title is a reference to Monani's Lee Chalang Quick Notes videos, which unfortunately have been unlisted since then. Those videos really helped me improve my Lee massively, so now I'm hoping that maybe I can help you guys a little bit like Monani helped me. Alright, let's get into this now and start off with what we know. Lee has a pretty good parry with a wide active window that catches mid and high punches. And if you press 4 during the end of the animation, you get a guaranteed follow-up. Well, it's mostly guaranteed. There are certain matchups that have counterplay to it, but we'll get to that next time. You can try to get more damage out of the parry by doing left-right combo into Revolution's Vi. This gives you a solid 51 damage as opposed to the 35 from the guaranteed follow-up. The trade-off being this option can be beaten by holding down back. However, this threatens a mix-up situation where you can launch them. The downside is they're back turned so you can't get a full wall combo and it can be blocked by holding back. When Lee lands a punch parry, we're actually plus 14 here. Although they can still block moves that are I-14 or slower. All they gotta do is hold back. But moves that are mid and 13 frames or faster will catch both defensive options. And while Lee didn't have any strong 13 frame mids in Tekken 7, he certainly does in Tekken 8. Fabulous Whip is a 13 frame mid-high heat engager that's guaranteed in this situation. It's only 2 less damage than Illusion Edge and it gives you a lot of benefits. First off, because it's a heat engager, it'll give you back a lot of recoverable health, so if you have that, definitely use it. It also initiates Lee's great pressure game, because Vaxxin Crescent is guaranteed after the heat engager. And because you're in heat, you also get big chip damage, making this technically more damaging than the Illusion Edge follow-up. You're also setting up your dangerous mix-up situations, both without and with Hitman stance. One option I like to go with is going into Hitman stance and using Poison Touch. It's practically guaranteed, safe on block, does a bit more chip damage and sets you up for another punch parry. Which just leads into another great use of this tech, because now you have Heat Dash available. It gives you a guaranteed Blazing Kick, but you can also try Silver Circle for a lot of great outcomes. This should beat everything if you execute it fast enough. It can even clip side rolls. And if you time it so you catch their get up, or they try to do a wake up kick for some reason, this can happen. Of course you won't have heat the second time, but you get the idea. The next use of this deck comes at the wall, where usually we get a different wall splat depending on which defensive option they chose. If they hold back, we get a front wall splat giving us a full wall combo, or maybe even an off the wall combo depending on the angle. If they hold down back or don't do anything, we get a back wall splat, so that combo will not be available. Instead, we can do a combo that is still pretty strong, but will do less damage than the front wall splat. This is where the tech comes in, because no matter which option they choose, it'll realign them for a front wall splat. One thing to note is that it will skew the angle further to the right than usual, so it might take some getting used to. But it also makes off-the-wall combos like this easier. It grants you a similar benefit with breakable walls, where you could usually find yourself stuck with an awkward back turn combo. This lets you capitalize a lot more on stage interaction. As luck would have it, I actually managed to use the tech in a real match right after recording. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope this video helps you out a bit. 
If you like this, please check out my other videos and make sure to subscribe if you find them entertaining. Or if you don't, just tell me I'm stupid and cringe so I can stop wasting everybody's time. Next video is probably gonna take a look at matchup specific interactions for Lee's Perry, and after that I might go back into ranked again or upload one of my old Left 4 Dead 2 videos. Alright then, cheers!